Hello friends, welcome to the online education. Myself Hardik Rawal and my subject is Organic Chemistry and Spectroscopy. Paper number 3502. Now, my first lecture is introduction to our syllabus. Our syllabus is dividing in five units. There are five units. Each and every unit is 14 marks. So now, we learn about the syllabus. Unit number one have two chapters, name reactions, rearrangements, and reagents. And our second chapter is alkaloids. Now unit number two are divided into two chapters. First chapter is carbohydrates, and second chapter is synthetic drugs, dyes, and pigments. Now unit number three, our unit number three is divided in Two chapters, synthesis of heterocyclic compound containing the two heteroatoms and second chapter is ultraviolet and visible spectra. Now unit number four is single chapter molecular symmetry and unit number five is also single chapter infrared spectroscopy. So there are five units in our syllabus. First, first three chapters are organic chemistry and so, last two, unit number four and unit number five is spectroscopy. So, our paper number 502 is uh, divided into two parts of chemistry. First part is organic chemistry and second part is spectroscopy. So, now, now we learn about the Mark's distribution. Mark distribution is uh, one mark question, four question, one mark. So, total marks for Two mark question, one question, two marks, three mark question, one question, three marks, and other five mark, one question, five marks. Total marks is 14 marks. So, friends, <coughs> our unit has 14 marks, and each and every unit has 14 marks. So, total marks is 70 marks, and your internal marks is 30. So, total paper marks is 100 marks. Then, our syllabus is divided into five units and eight chapters. Now we started the our unit number two and chapter number two, synthetic drugs, dyes, and pigments. Now we started uh, our second unit and chapter number two, synthetic drugs, dyes, and pigments. These chapters are divided into three parts: drugs, dyes, and pigments. Our first part is drugs. Now we learn about the formation process of the drugs, synthesis and uses of the ibuprofen. Now we learn the synthesis of ibuprofen. We will first <coughs> react with the isobutene and benzene in the presence of sodium potassium butate. Butate means mixture of sodium and potassium. And this process is called acid hydrolysis. Isobutene and benzene is reacted with the sodium potassium butate and acid hydrolysis process to produce the isobutyl benzene. This is the, our first intermediate product. Isobutyl benzene is our first inter intermediate product and it is reacted with the anhydrous AlCl3 reagent and acetyl chloride. Now, this intermediate product reacts with the anhydrous AlCl3 and acetyl chloride. Now, our COCl3, our acetophenone group is combined with this isobutyl benzene and produce the, our second intermediate product. And then hydrogen is removed with the chlorine and our COCl3 group is combined the isobutyl benzene ring and produce the, our second intermediate product. Now, our second inter intermediate product is reacted with the HCN. Now, reacted with the HCN and produced the, our third intermediate product. This reaction was, goes to the, our COCA3 is now our ketone group is combined and converted into the hydroxyl group and CN is, CN is combined with the carbon and form and produce the third intermediate product. Now, this intermediate product is reacted with the hydrolytic acid in the presence of phosphorus and second 
hydrolysis with NaOH sodium hydroxide and produce the our main product ibuprofen ibuprofen this intermediate product this that is our third intermediate product is converted into our final product in the presence of hydrochloric acid and phosphorus with hydrolysis of NaOH ibuprofen structure is the benzenic which connected with the methyl and carboxylic group it can is our cyano group is converted into the carboxylic group and that is form the our final product ibuprofen this is the first method of synthesis of ibuprofen this is the first method and now we have learned about the second method second method is is the similarly the first method because of our first method we will use the isobutene and benzene in the presence of the sodium potassium butate with acid hydrolysis and then second method is also similarly to the first method because of the we will use the also isobutene and benzene in the presence of a sodium potassium butate with a acid hydrolysis now start the second method isobutene plus benzene in the presence of a acid hydrolysis sodium and potassium butate and produce the isobutyl benzene first part is also similarly to the first method isobutyl benzene but now we will use the other reagent other reagent is the formaldehyde and hydrochloric acid we will use the formaldehyde and hydrochloric acid our first method we will use the anhydrous alcl3 and acetyl chloride but that is different first second method is different to the first method because we will use the formaldehyde and hydrochloric acid and produce the 4 days isobutyl benzyl chloride intermediate product that is the our intermediate product that is the our intermediate that we it is contain the 4 days isobutyl benzyl chloride then ch2cl group is combined with the isobutyl benzene and from the 4 days isobutyl benzyl chloride cl was connect combine and produce the 4 days isobutyl benzyl chloride this is our second intermediate product now we will react with the sodium cyanide this is sodium cyanide sodium cyanide is reacted with the 4 days isobutyl benzyl chloride and form the our third intermediate product that is the cyanide because our cyano group is combined and form the third intermediate product now we will react with the other reagent with third intermediate product nh nanh2 sodium amide and methyl iodide sodium amide this is sodium amide and methyl iodide reacted with the methyl iodide and sodium amide with our third intermediate product to produce our fourth intermediate product that is our methyl iodide group methyl is combined with the carbon and also present cyanide that is our third intermediate product and form the fourth intermediate product now our fourth intermediate product is reacted with the sodium hydroxide or hcl this is the hydrolysis process and finally we will produce the ibuprofen ibuprofen is a, our main drug main content that is cyano group also converted into the carboxylic group and form the ibuprofen this is the, our final product ibuprofen and now we have learned about the uses of the ibuprofen ibuprofen is used as anti inflammatory drugs and anti rheumatic drugs this is these drugs are very very useful in a uh, skin burn and other problems that is the our first method and second method of the synthesis of the ibuprofen so now we will complete the first reaction of the synthesis of the ibuprofen and uses of the ibuprofen